What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today's video is sponsored by Ballistic Case and they have sent me pretty much every single case they have available for the iPhone 11 Pro to show you guys. They also gave me a discount code for you guys as well so I'll put that down below in the description if you guys are interested in checking out any of these cases and purchasing them for yourself, you can get a discount on that. That's gonna be a limited time only so make sure you jump on that as soon as you watch this video. And if we can get this video up to 100 likes, I'll probably do a big giveaway and just give away all these cases to everybody on my channel. So. I'll talk about more about that, but if you guys can help share this video and get it up to 100 likes, uh, I'll put out a giveaway and we'll just start giving these cases out like crazy, okay? So that's enough of that. Let's get into this video review. Okay, guys, so the first cases I'm going to show you are very similar, so I'm going to do them both at the same time. So this is the Jewel Spark and the Jewel. And so these are both kind of clear style cases. The, they're, be, they're both made of polycarbonate, so they all, actually all these cases have a hard polycarbonate shell on the back and then the, the front beveled edge of this of the edge right here is uh, like a softer TPU type of plastic. Um, but these cases are basically very similar. They're both retail for $35. They're both at the same shell, the same mold, or, and, and all that, that's all very similar. The only difference between this, uh, the Jewel Spark and the Jewel is that the Jewel actually has uh, customizable corners that you can swap out. So they have their B-Shock X90 corners and I'll show you what that looks like in this case here. The Jewel Spark don't have the, the extra corners that come with the case. Uh, I'm not sure if you can still pop them out and, and swap them out with the other corners. I don't think you can, but that's the only difference that I'm aware of that is between these two. So let's check out the Jewel Spark. I'm gonna put my phone in this one. So this one is available and it comes in like, uh, what's it called? Black fade, clear, which is has silver corner caps. Let me get to that in focus so you can see that. So this one has silver, and that's like, I don't know, like a black type of chrome. And then we have the rose gold style. I'm going to throw the rose gold on because I kind of like the way the rose gold looks. It has like a reddish look to it. Uh, obviously, my phone is in rose gold. So depending on what kind of phone you have, the case will look different on that. The only other difference between the actual cases besides the actual um, the corners is that this one has a honeycomb pattern to it, which is really cool. As you can see right there. And this one is just like a clear. There's no, no pattern on that one. So besides the corners, the actual bodies of the cases themselves uh, and the colors, is that honeycomb texture, which is pretty neat. So you basically just pop in your phone into there, it goes into place, as you can see, the screen protector I have, which is a ballistic screen protector, fits on there perfectly, no issues with that. So when it gets to all the openings and everything, all these are gonna be really similar to each other because they're all similar molds. But I'm gonna go ahead and just give you a tour around this one right here. So on the side, you can see we have a nice large opening for the mute switch, Lightning, uh, the volume up and down buttons are still protected, but you can feel the click through there, so that's real nice. You can see that kind of fade almost has a metallic look to it, which is pretty cool. In the corner, the rose gold corner there, real nice touches. Uh, nice large opening for the lightning cable. So if you have cables that are a little bit larger than the Apple lightning cables, that should fit in there just fine. We have the cutaway for the, the microphone, the cutaway for the speaker, another little corner there. The other, the sleep and wake button, uh, also being covered and protected, but you can still feel the click through that, so that's pretty nice. Get to the back. They do have like a, a nice cutaway here for the camera and it actually features, uh, it's hard to, to tell, but if you can see the edge right there, it's almost like a stair step type of feature. So it kind of ensures that there's not gonna be any flash bouncing off of the edge of this case. Uh, sometimes cases, the cheaper ones usually, um, they don't pay attention to that. And sometimes when you take, when you do a picture with the flash, it might bounce off the edge of the case. So this, all of these cases that I'm gonna show you guys today have like a cool, interesting little stair step edge there to make sure that that, that flash isn't gonna bounce off. So everything lines up really good there. So that is the Jewel Spark. Let me go ahead and show you what the other one, the Jewel looks like with the, the replaceable corners. Okay, so here's the Jewel, the clear case version of it. And you can see there's multiple corners in there. So it comes with bright pink and baby blue. So depending on what your style is. And so basically it also, it automatically already has corners in there already. So there's black ones in there, but you use a little tool that comes, it looks like a guitar pick. And you pop that little corner out and you can swap it out with these other customizable ones here and you can make it a little more personal. So you can pop that in. So that's, you can see this, so this is the clear one right here. And then this is the like smoke black version of the, the dark jewel one. So, and that comes with the uh, red, I believe these are, yeah. So the, the caps in there or the corners in there are red and blue. So I kind of like those red caps. It's pretty nice. So these are the jewel line. So let's switch over to the next line. All right, the next line we're gonna show you is the Urbanite collection, and this offers 12 foot drop protection. I forgot to mention earlier for the uh, Jewel one, that is 10 foot drop protection. So this is a little bit more, a little bit more durable. This one retails for 40 bucks. It comes in three different colors. So we have a, like a blue, a light pink, and a black. And this one also includes two pairs of uh, B-Shock 90 
customizable corners and I'll show you which ones are available for these right here. So this is basically very similar to the other one like I said, polycarbonate back shell, hard plastic shell on the back and then a TPU on the edges here on the front bevel. So let me give you a close up look of this case. Okay, so here we have the blue version of the Urbanite case, as you can see, it has a, just like a regular plastic type of finish to it. It's not a super bulky case, it's pretty minimal. Um, everything lines up really well, so we have the, 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 sw the mute switch is easy to get to right there. You have the volume up and downs, that's a nice soft click through there as well. You can see the two layers, like the polycarbonate layer here and then the TPU on the top. Get to there, we have the corners and these are the corners that are uh, customizable that you can pop out and I'll show you which ones come available in the box. Nice big opening, really large opening actually for the lighting connect uh, lighting connector there. We have the microphone speaker, the sleep wake button, same as same as before. Nice cutaway for the camera. They have that stair step edge in there, so it's not the flash is going to bounce off the edge of the camera at all. So that is the blue. Uh, the the this pink is so light pink it almost looks white on the camera, but it definitely has like a nice soft pink uh, touch to it. And then we have the black as well. And so when it comes to the extra extra corners so with the black case it includes blue and red which is pretty nice with the pink case it includes I don't even know what that like a lilac and a beige type of color I guess you could say like a light light purple and like a tannish and then with the blue you get black or red and those are the extra corners that come with it so 40 bucks not too bad with 12 foot drop protection and that's this is the urbanite all right, next we have the B-Shock X90 series. And so this is the one that offers the most uh, fall protection. So this goes up, goes up to 15 foot drop. This is an interesting one because the edge has a nice color banding on all these and these, uh, there's four different colors. And so the back is a clear polycarbonate back with the TPU on the edge, but there's extra some extra corner protection that's built into here that gives it a little extra protection. And so this one, uh, like I said, retails for 45 bucks. Uh, this one right here is the black fade. There's also a white, a blue, and a pink, and I'll show you those, those in just a second. This includes one extra corner protector. So for this one right here, uh, it comes with gray. So the gray corner protector comes with this. I mean, it already has black ones on there already. So let me pop in the phone here so you guys can see what that looks like. So the material in this case is what they call the B-Shock X90. I know that's what the, the case is called as well, but that's also what they call the material. So they claim that this has the highest shock absorption on the market for cases. And uh, these B-Shock corners that are available on this case, as well as all the other cases, that's what helps them increase the drop test height um, from the old line of ballistic cases, because all these cases are like completely from the ground up brand new cases. These, if you guys were familiar with ballistic before, um, all these cases are totally different from those ones, and they all feature those uh, X, X90, those B-Shock X90 corners. So when it comes to all the ports and everything, everything lines up really well. As you can see, we have the nice opening there for the mute switch. We have the volume up and down, clear buttons for that, but you can still feel the clicks through there. The, we have the corner, which is like a, like a TPU, just like rubbery type of looking material. I think it's polycarbonate though. And then we have the, the microphone, the speaker, nice big opening for the lightning port. Another sleep and wake button on the side right there. And the camera hole or camera opening, it lines up really well. And we also have that one edge there so the, the flash doesn't bounce off. So let me go ahead and show you. So with the black one, we get the gray corner pieces there as extras. So with this one, we have the white, or actually, is this the white? Yeah. So this is the white version right here, and this has the gray corners right there. That's included with that one. Here we have the pink version, which it doesn't really show up on camera as pink. It's a super, super subtle, subtle pink. And those has white corners that come included with that one. And then we have, I believe this is the blue. Yeah, this that blue looks real nice. That pops real good right there. And those corner pieces are black that are included with this one. So 45 bucks. Not too bad for giving you 15 foot drop protection. Okay, now we're moving on to the Tough Jacket line. So this is these are both the, both the same as that case. So this is the Tough Jacket Max, which is the same as this, except it includes a holster. And so I'll show you what the holster looks like. So if you want, uh, for the color-wise, though, these, this one retails for 50 bucks. If you want it with the holster, it's 55 bucks. And so the one Tough Jacket by itself without the, without the clip, it comes in three colors, black, gray, and blue. The one with the, the, uh, the clip, the holster is only in gray and black. So if you want the blue, you have to only buy it separately over here. But this one provides 14 foot protection, which is drop protection, which is interesting because this case is pretty bulky when you compare it to the uh, the B-Shock X90, but the B-Shock X90 has a higher drop protection by one more foot. So still a very durable, tough case, but let me go ahead and pop out the blue one here and show you guys what it looks like uh, up close. 
All right, so similar to the other cases before, they all kind of have the same type of texture on the inside right here. So it's a polycarbonate like the other ones with uh, some TPU, and this actually has quite a bit of different surfaces and, and different textures to it. So the back has a nice, uh, what is this, TPE, I think is what it's called. It's like a padded grip, so it gives a little bit better uh, grip protection when it's in your hand, which is kind of nice. And then um, when you get to the sides or the corners, it has like a softer, like a softer type of uh, TPU style of material right there. So that's, that's definitely gonna provide a lot of good protection there. This one does include one extra uh, thing of uh, corners, as you can see. So I got the uh, black ones here for this, for the blue case. So when it comes to ports, it has another large opening for the mute switch. The volume up and down buttons are really thick, but you can still feel the click uh, when you go through the case. You can see we have a nice different texture right there, so that's more rubberized. The microphone, the speaker, and then the large opening for the lightning cable. I like the large openings that they have in these cases. I've, I've reviewed other cases before that have very tiny ports there for the lightning cable, and it makes it hard to use it with some of my larger lightning cables, but these ones are all really nice. Uh, the sleep-wake button right there, easy to get to. You can still feel the click through there. And that you can see the thickness of that case. So let me show right there. So you can see how thicked up it is. So it definitely is going to provide a lot of a lot of good protection. And it also has that, that stair step edge right there. So the flash is going to bounce off of there. So this is the blue. I think I like the blue the best. It's a nice bright color. And uh, let me see here. So for the black, the, the uh, corner pieces that come with the black are also black corner pieces. And on the black, the black includes black corners. And if you want to swap out the corners on this one, that comes with gray extra corners. All right, and so here's the Tough Jacket Max. So it's basically the same exact case I just showed you, except this one includes the holster. And so the holster does feature a 360 degree rotation, which means you can completely turn it all the way around. So not only does it offer that, but it also has a kickstand function as well. So if you can see inside the case, there's a little clip right here. And so there's actually adjustable little uh, points where you can make it a little bit wider, open, whatever you want to do. And you can it'll act as a little as a little kickstand right there. So if like you're on the plane, you're watching the movie, you wanna prop up your phone, you can keep it inside the holster and actually have, use that little kickstand in there to uh, prop it open to, to have a nice viewing angle with your phone. You can put the case backwards with the screen facing out if you want. Probably not the best idea if you wanna protect that screen. More likely than not, you're probably gonna to wanna to face it inwards to make sure that screen is facing in and being protected. So this is the only difference that is with the Tough Jacket Max and the Tough Jacket is that the Tough Jacket Max comes with the, the belt holster here. And this one is 55 bucks, and that one's only 50 bucks. So that wraps up this review on Ballistic Cases lineup for the 11 Pro. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of these cases, like I said, I'll have a link down below in the description. And don't forget to check out that discount code for a limited time if you want to get a discount on any of these cases for your iPhone 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, or the iPhone 11. If you guys want to check out any of my other videos, i got two of the clips you can click on right here. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, you can click on my face. And don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they drop on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video review.